Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Experience Kills. I am your host Ben and with me today is Richard. Good evening fans. Yeah we'll go with that. I like that. Good evening fans. And I think fans is the right term to use today as we are talking about a new sort of rhythm action game coming out on pretty much everything uh, very soon. And it's, it's basically the musical works of Avicii who sadly passed in April 2018 due to a really quite horrible suicide. Obviously, he was going through some stuff at the time. But basically, this is yeah a tribute to his works. 25 tracks, actually, so not a small amount. And uh, it's a game called Ivici Invector. Um, and you like your rhythm action games, don't you? I know I do. I do. Love a bit of aero, a bit of thumper. Um, and going back, g- Guitar Man. Oh, guitar man, yeah. Uh, elite beat agents, anyone? Anyone? Yeah, yeah good times those were. Um, but yeah, this is a bit more in that sort of thumper style. Uh, in that the idea of there's a ship going down a track, uh, and you're basically striking buttons and making movements uh, in time to the music and in time to the on-screen prompts. Uh, it's not something I'm going to overly explain because I think if you're even remotely aware of this genre, you'll immediately understand it. Uh, there is a rapping sort of very light story um, connecting up these levels uh, done with some animated cutscenes and even voice acting everything. I'm not sure that's any kind of selling point and weirdly it's where I found the performance issues came to play. In playing these pre-rendered animated scenes they often hung up and froze and stuttered and you know that was strange I thought because it should just be an FMV but um, at the same time, the game played really smooth and really reactive, but those cutscenes chugged like a motherfucker. That's weird. What are you yeah. playing it on? Uh, Xbox One X. What so, the hell? What, how did they do that? <laughs> I'm I'm not sure. I'm playing it pre-release. There may be a patch that sorts this out at release. That's entirely possible. Um, but yeah, it, it just not the best in the performance ways in that FMV. But really, you're not playing it for these 30 second little bits of connected tissue that come up between every sort of fourth or fifth song. You're playing it because you probably love Avicii's music. Now, I was kind of aware of Avicii, sort of tangentially. I didn't really listen to his start actively, but some of his biggest hits are ones I definitely heard. And what I really enjoyed playing this was actually getting to know his music a bit better and getting to know his kind of library. Uh, and that was kind of a fun experience. So how well do you know Avicii? Um, not a great deal. I think as dance music goes, um, I'm less on the happy end where Avicii sits and more at the, da- the, the sort of the dank, grimy end of Prodigy and all that sort of stuff. Mm. So yeah, um, I can't say I'm a fan, but um, I'd be interested to try any, any music game out because it's... I find it's less about the music in the end and how the gameplay gets you into the groove of it. So I can speak to that, definitely, yeah. Um, So basically, the the visual style, the presentation of uh, Invector is bright and colourful, pinks and blues and greens really popping off the screen. Uh, And then that combined with the way in which you control the ship on the screen to hit the icons, it really does get you involved with the tunes and really gets you bopping along and tapping your head to the beat and your foot starts going. And uh, so basically, you've got your mostly controls are A, X and B for on-screen prompts and then you've got the right shoulder button plays a big deal uh, and then swooping maneuvers on the uh, thumbstick or d-pad uh, and then there's a couple of different styles of track so there's this sort of 3d track which you can rotate around uh, and then the song during the song it will switch to a different type of track which is more of a 2d sort of like hopping track um, which I found a bit easier to follow a bit more reminiscent of a rock band or a guitar hero you know a, a really kind of normalized vertical track almost um, but you know everything actually feels quite um, sort of apt for the music there are these sort of flying sections like free flying sections where you fly um, between uh, these different like control um, sort of points targets or gates and that feels like they're trying to convey the sort of sense of soaring euphoria that you'd get from this kind of dance music and electronic music so you're right. kind of flying through space and it's free form and it just feels quite freeing and it's quite a beautiful experience the game looks great uh, and I said like I said r- except for those cutscenes runs really well um, the music has been ported well the load times are very quick between the tracks which is what you want 
Uh, it's a decent selection of music at 25 tracks as well, especially for a smaller um, product like this. And it was made in collaboration with Avicii. They'd started development on this game uh, prior to his death, so there, oh, there really? was input from him, yeah. Um, and it's coming out now. There, there's some kind of uh, tribute concert happening at the moment, so there's a lot going on uh, around Avicii. It's not the anniversary of his death because he died in April of 2018, but at only 28, Rich, you know, proper tragic. Um, but, you know, I think it's a really good excuse to go back and if, like me and like you, Rich, you're not particularly familiar with his music, mm. I really think if you have any kind of inclination to these types of game and have any inclination to electronic music, you know, you've enjoyed Aero uh, in the past, which is something we bring up whenever we can. You're, you've understated that. I love yeah, Aero. We really love Aero here. There's an Aero 2 coming. We're very excited. But if you're, if you're into that and you're just looking for a similar experience, you know, and you're willing to give this kind of music a go, I highly recommend it. There's very little uh, going against it here it's just a, a really fun experience that you know i really enjoyed the music that's what it's all about i feel a little bit guilty sort of treading over his grave now but um just to touch on the music because i'm not familiar with his library what's the variety like because it's all from one artist does it all does it feel like it all meshes into one or is there enough choice there i was actually quite I, I'm surprised. It might be the, with the way the tracks have been laid out. It's not, for example, just top heavy with all his big hits. They they are spaced out throughout the 25 tracks. And I went through the whole the whole thing. And you play your easy, medium, and hard. And there's actually a a real variety to how they actually play across the difficulties. It's not just a case of removed notes, but it actually, from what I could tell, completely different note tracks. Um, wow. Yeah, and completely different sort of inputs based on easy, medium, or hard, which I thought was really cool. Like, a lot of work's gone into this. Like, a real labour of love is the vibe you get. And, yeah, I actually was quite impressed. There, There's slower stuff, jazzier stuff, poppier stuff, heavier stuff, um, stuff which has been done in collaboration with other artists. So there's, there is a good variety in there. Um, I think, in general, like you said, it leads more towards that euphoric end of the scale. But... Yeah. Uh, you know, that's nice, man. In the middle of the winter like we are right now, you know, it's cold outside, it's dark, it's miserable. And I think this brings a bit of summer and a bit of lightness. And I just really enjoy playing it. That's cool. I mean, that that's where rhythm games excel, isn't it? Is where they really tap into the detail of the music rather than just mm. being a sort of skin, uh, the, the music being a skin on top of a rather formulaic mechanic. So if they've really listened to the tunes and... You know, built their inputs around that, as Aero does so well. You know, not just the inputs, but the levels themselves are built around the tracks. Yeah. Um, yeah. If this gets anywhere near to that, then it sounds like it's worth a try. I think so. I, I, like I said, it's a good time. It's well done. That the the track mappings are done well. The visuals are great. The mu the music's really good. Um, yeah, I think uh, it's a cool little package. It's not you know asking for an arm and a leg. I, I believe 25% of all the proceeds. Um, will be going from every platform this is will be going towards uh, the Tim Burling Foundation which is Avicii's real name which was set up in his honour to help people um, who have uh, you know committed suicide or well, not committed suicide but maybe it helps their families but more be like prevention and, and awareness stuff uh, for people start struggling you know yeah. through life with maybe mental health issues and things like that uh, so there's even there's even a cool oh, yeah awesome. like a cool charity element to this um so if you're a fan i think it's a given you're probably picking this up you're probably already aware of it but i think from a perspective of someone who just really enjoys a good rhythm game uh this will you know tick that box as well yeah that is cool um not to be morbid but i'm slightly jealous at the idea of avici fans getting this because there's no keith flint one I know what you mean. You know, I would quite like a yeah. Version so would I. That would be incredible. Game. But you never know. You never know, do you? These things, these things can happen. You know, who who was expecting this? So I think that's the end of this episode of Experience Kills. We'll be back soon with more coverage. Always more coverage, even in the depths of winter. And I'm even going to throw this out there. Game with the year coming soon. Just, just saying. Just saying. More Experience Kills on the way. If you want to know what that is and when it's coming out, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Experience Kills. You can follow me on Twitter at DIYE and Richard can be found at Colonel Red. In addition to watching this video, which I hope you've greatly enjoyed, you can also check out the audio versions of every single video we do. They are available on all good podcast fields and places. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Just search for Experience Kills. You'll find us all over the place. Uh, Richard, I think it's time we went off and uh, cut some tracks of our own. So until next time, I say goodbye. Good evening, fans. <laughs>